Hello, I'm back and I'm here with another tutorial that I super love, okay? I am talking about a design called Round Trip, okay? Round Trip was created by Love & Looms, okay? And if, as you can see, it's very beautiful. I like it a lot. Very creative way of doing a bracelet and you can actually play around with the colors. So if you can see, I created a combination that uses the metallic silver and all the glitters, glitter bands, and I have here the opaque black together with the tie-dye collection. I love how it turned out. Super nice. And you can play around with how you want your details to come out, depending on where you place the bands and how you place the bands and which one goes where. But to cut the long story short, <laughs> this was created by Love and Loons. Okay, a super good, super amazing Luma. Okay, her name is Kim. Okay. Yes, the name, same Kim as Miss Saigon. Okay, and these are her creations, and she has very nice original designs. She also likes doing variations. Okay, and round trip is all the way down. And the only reason why this came out now is because it seems apparently no one offered, and she never asked. <laughs> so I saw it and I said, "Oh, this is really nice, very beautiful." So I decided. Um, to make one and when I got to speak to her she said oh there's no tutorial so I said okay fine I'll make one <laughs> okay so this is Love and Looms you give her a follow because she's very good okay so we shall teach you how to make the round trip bracelet and for this I will be using two colors I'll be using the zebra stripe and the tin and the what's this the sparkle maroon yeah that's the sparkle maroon and um sparkle maroon or tin I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's Sparkle Maroon. Anyway, so what we're going to do is for this particular bracelet, we are going to use two colors. And if you notice, what I did here is I used the silver um, as the main body of the whole bracelet. And then I made glitters the details, the glitter bands the details. And here I also used black as the main body. And I used the tie dye as the details. So you can choose whichever you wish to make as the main color you can alternate it per group you can make this zebra and then tie and then um whatever color so you can do that but what i did was i alternated it so to give it one whole body color you can do it solid colors like this is all orange blue black green orange yellow pink you know so depends on you i don't like it like that though i like it like this it makes it more artistic Gives out the details more, yo. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to prepare your hook. And all you need to do is to prepare seven bands per segment. These are all just seven bands. Okay, so the first thing though is we will elect a body color, which for me will be the zebra stripe. Okay, or we can actually, hmm, what if we do it the other way around? What if we make this the main? Anyway forget it <laughs> okay so we will use the main body color to be zebra stripe and what I do at the bottom is to create a cap band I use two bands because it is stronger you can use one it's up to you but as you can see here look it's so thin see it's so thin but here I use two bands and so how look how oh, look how strong that is compared to this which is so thin so it depends on you so for me this is just the beginning and the only reason I'm doing this is to make the bands look to make the bracelet stronger towards the, the the lock okay so you get your first band you can do single it's up to you I'm just doing double just to make it strong so you get the you place your cap band there then you get your first band which is one okay this is actually just creating a fishtail so you create a single chain of you can start with one band or two bands it's up to you I just want to use two to make it strong again okay so anyway this is the first one and we need to make seven of these so this is the first I will change to the sparkle maroon which is the second from the cap band because the cap band is not counted in the count okay two and then three And then four. Oops. Four. Five. 
6 and 7 okay for you to know which main body color you are using it's the one that you start with first which is the one and then you alternate it alternate it with your detail color I call this the detail color which are the tie-dye and those you only have three if you'll notice per segment because we only need seven minus the cap band okay minus the cap band these are your cap bands okay don't count those you start from this you have one two three four five six and seven okay that's all you need okay seven now what you need to do is to turn your your turn your chain upwards like that and you will now go into each link starting from here so you will take your hook and I'll do this sideways so you can see you go down okay into the middle you go inside of that okay and then you go into the next one you go sorry for the interruption <laughs> my phone rang <laughs> okay so let us repeat let us repeat okay so anyway as I was saying you have your chain now of seven links and what you will do is you will take your hook and go into the space of that band in front okay oops there and then from there you will go up again why is my camera doing this you go up again and then you go into the next one again see and then you go up again so you're basically just alternating going up and down each link backwards and then you go inside the next one again and if you show that you know if you are correct you are supposed to end up okay then you know what you did is correct okay now when on the hook I like to straighten them so when you're done you might want to adjust a bit well, I know it will take you longer but if you get used to it better then you make sure everything is flat and nice okay then you've got everything so you will see your three band detail colors are there okay then you will get a single band color again same color as your body which is the zebra stripe then you place it on your hook and loop everything on it one so just put everything on the hook all of it no mercy <laughs> okay. there okay and then you close it and you've got your first segment see how simple that was actually it doesn't seem as complicated as you thought right so it's really that simple that's the first segment okay once you're done you push these two to the other side or you transfer it to another hook and turn it around or you simply push it because you're supposed to do the other side like here then you turn it around and you do the seven links again starting with sparkle maroon why because the one that you have on there that's already the first so you don't need to add the first band anymore coming from this you already add the second so it's already two sometimes it will twist so you just have to untwist it okay so two three four five six and seven okay another way for you to also know if your seven links are correct is you always end up with the body color okay so seven links one two three four five six and seven including the one that holds all of those see okay and then now you will do the linking again 
just so that you don't get confused about the these curls going from left to right left to right you will see that when you have your hook this way the curl should be on top because the next one that you will make will go to the bottom so this one after you're done will go here so the next one it should be on the top again you are wrong if your arrangement is like this the curl is at the bottom because what will happen is once you've done the linking then your curl is there again this will turn into a, a round thing and it's not gonna be straight like this everything will be on this side and that's wrong unless you want it that way <laughs> but it should be oops this way okay so once again you go into each link so you go in one and then two I'm just arranging that and then three and then four okay five and six there you go see <clears throat> now you just have to arrange the bands making sure that nothing is twisted and everything is well done so that it looks clean and nice there you're now ready to loop all of these on a single band again so you just get a single band and loop all of those bands on it right the first one you pull back a little so that there's space there and then you unloop everything Ta-da! See? In the beginning, it doesn't really look like much, but once you're done, it looks very beautiful. So, after you've done that, you move to the other side again. Turn the hook around, like that. Then you do the next one. So, once again, as I said, you already have your first link there. So, you start with the second. Your count should start on two. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ta da! And then we do the same thing again, going into the links. And you go one, and then two, and then three, and four, five, and six. See? And then you get a single band again. I'm just moving it to the back so that there's enough space, okay? So you loop everything on the single band. And then you close it. Okay. See? Let me just adjust my camera a bit. I'm having a bit of a hard time. I think it's too high. Oops. Sorry. There you go. Ha. So much better, I think. Because I can't really see myself. Too high. <laughs> Sorry. I had to adjust it a bit. And now it's swinging. <laughs> there we go. So, let's do it one more time. So this is the first band. So you have one. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
six and seven. Okay. Let's just say that somebody called you <laughs> and you're now so lost. Oh my gosh, where am I? What am I supposed to do next? First thing you need to do is to count. You have to have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got that correct. Now, how to know where to loop? Okay. All you have to do is to check where the, la where the last curl is and that should be on top. Oop, sorry. All you have to do is to check where this last curl is and that should be on top. Which means this is upside down. So you have to turn it that way and push those bands to the end of the hook and then you can do it again. So you go into each link to In there straightening it okay and then you go in again and you go out again you always end up on top okay why is this twisted oops sorry Brr. there you go okay so now you're flat see just flattening those bangings then you get your single band again and loop everything on it. So you loop all those, including these, and these, and all of these. So you only have that band that you added left. Then you close it. Ta-da! See how pretty? There. So basically that's it really, it's nothing difficult, nothing special about it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. When I say nothing special, it means nothing special about the looping, it's not hard at all. You guys are gonna enjoy this. You guys are gonna have a blast making this, this is so easy. Okay, so let us show you so far. Your there you go, round trip bracelets. Okay, so when you make the brace, oh sorry, round trip bracelet, what of was of course created by Love and Looms on Instagram. Make sure to give her a follow, right? Okay, so when you make the brace, when you make the brace, what am I stuttering? Stuttering, stuttering. Okay, when you make the bracelet, please don't forget the hashtag Chase Alvarez Round Trip Bracelet and Love and Looms because I'm sure she would be thrilled to see this. Um, and the renditions. Okay, so I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.